Okay, I had a little problem yesterday. My uh, bubbler, new bubbler that I made, has a built-in gasket on the plastic lid. It's three um, thin circles of plastic built into it. I guess that's supposed to be the uh, gasket, but it didn't work. I couldn't get any production when I put the tip into the extra water container here, so that's that's my old bubbler where the lid blew, <laughs> peanut butter jar. Um, so this one, um, I sealed it uh, overnight. I used um, the contact um, paper that HHO for All suggested in one of his videos, and uh, it works great. I've got it into my generator also, and uh, seems to be holding up well. I tried it with some tacky glue, um, all-purpose glue that you use for stuff around the house, and uh, it just would deteriorate after a few uses. So what I'm doing now is I used a plumber's goop and uh, seems to be holding up pretty good. So now I uh, had a leak at the top of this, uh, right right at the where it joins here. So I put on some um, just some regular plumber's tape and uh, seems to have sealed it. So I get my glasses here and uh, show you the production before I light it. Okay, stick this in and it takes a few seconds but then it builds up enough pressure and out it comes. I know it's it's not a lot but um, it might be enough to keep a torch lit. Um, right here I've got a flashback arrestor that I purchased from Bruce Energetics and uh, bought two of them from him uh, and uh, this will be the first test of that also so <laughs> that's uh, standing between me and the bubbler alright so I also pinched this edge I don't know if you can see it so it'll keep a little more pressure I might pinch it a little more um, we'll see but alright ready let's get this it's got a mind of its own there. Get this over here and let's see what happens. Oh, flashback arrestor work. Did you see that? I just don't have enough pressure. It's kind of windy out here right now. Oh, look at that. I have a little flame. Look. Oh, woo. Okay. I just don't have enough pressure for it to stay lit. Thank goodness I have that flashback arrestor. Thank you, Bruce. I'll add it again here. Oh, wow. Good job. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just not getting enough pressure coming out. Maybe if I squeeze the tip a little more, we'll see. But, uh, well, we've determined the flashback arrestor works really well. And very happy about that. Saves, saves my system, especially my new, new uh, bubbler. So I got to get the production up. I think I'm uh, between 10 and 15 amps. I blew a fuse in my amp meter, which was blows at 10, but the fuse that I have on my power supply is 15. So that's how I know it's between 10 and 15. So I'm gonna have to purchase a better amp meter. I think I'm gonna get a clamp meter now. Anyways, um, let me pinch this tip and uh, I'll get back to you. This is Sean. I'm out.